Hi Pi people, it's the Average Man here. Uh, right, well tonight I'm doing a bit of soldering um, and it's the Adafruit thumbstick unit. You'll see things like this before, you know exactly what this is. It's the kind of PlayStation freestyle thumbstick. This is a cheap version I got from China. Um, but I recently bought this just for the fun of it. So it's an Adafruit version, it's got a nicer PCB, it's got four mounted holes. I mean this one has as well, but you know, these are rounded. Um, and I might use this in an upcoming project, so I thought, hey, I'm going to solder it. And I thought I'd just show you guys how you solder it. It's a very, very easy. I don't really think you can go wrong with this one. But uh, so let's, let's get on with it. Let's let's get this thing soldered. So first of all, which way around do you put this thing? So it's quite easy. You've got a set of three holes here and a set of three holes here and nowhere else. And if you look on the back of this, you've got three here and three here in those black sections. So all you need to do is line those up. So I'm going to go like this. Now I did have to bend these earlier because some of them are a bit wonky. They wouldn't go straight here, but hopefully. I'll do that now and just push that in. There you go. So that's now flat on there. And we've got the pins. And it's actually quite good because it's not falling out. So if I bend a couple of those a little bit, that's going to help me out. So I haven't got um, my helping hands, crocodile clips. I haven't got this uh, blue tack. All I'm going to do is solder a couple of corners first. And that's going to hold it in while I do the rest. So I've got my cheap and nasty Maplin solder on. Got some cheap solder. No expense spared here in average towers. So here I go, I'm just going to heat this point up for a couple of seconds and then, crossing fingers, add some solder. Okay, let's take our time with this. So there we go, we've got one solder point there. Uh, it looks pretty good and everything is still flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now solder the other corner. And then the theory is that will hold it in place while I solder the other points. As long as we get it, these bits right, then the rest will be fine. So let's just again just gonna hold my soldering iron on for a wonky one, a couple of seconds. And I'm going to go in with the solder and cross our fingers again. Hope that works its way around. Yes, it does. Let's give that a little wipe. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that all looks good. Uh, let's look on the other side. Is it straight? It does appear to be flat with the bottom of the board there you can see that okay that's not going to go anywhere but obviously we haven't got electrical points soldered here so all you need to do now is go in the other so same thing i'm just gonna give myself a little wipe again um don't copy me with soldering i'm not the best solder I, this just works for me um i've never really invested in a decent soldering iron and i probably there's probably people right now typing away saying you're soldering wrong you're not using the right this or the other you've got no solder on your tip what are you doing? But I don't care, because it works. I've never had one problem with any joint I've soldered. So here we go. That's how easy it is, four in there. I find it gets easier if you if you just keep going. Don't stop, don't pause too much, just fly through the joints. If you're not so sure, check them out, but I tend to just do better if I just go for it. Okay. Uh, these points we're not going to solder yet, we've got nothing for those, and I'll come to that in a minute. Oh, these ones are a bit tricky because they're the wrong way around. On there. Okay. Now that should be all the joints. It's, it's as easy as that, that was it. Two corners are the most important part, and then do the rest. Now, I can't resume on this terrible camera I've got, so let's just have a look there. They're all good. I'll have a closer look later on once the video's finished, but the pads are nicely full of solder. Now we didn't do these ones. These are the breakouts for your... Uh, obviously this is how you how you attach to your microcontroller, so mine would be a Raspberry Pi. Um, now you can either do what we've... Like we've got this one here. This one comes... I think this one came pre-made. Um, you can add a kind of an L header there, so you can attach your jumper wires. Um, or if you're doing a kind of more of a permanent project, you can just solder wires directly to that, but it's up to you. Now, the good thing is you can do what you want. You don't, it doesn't come with anything, so you don't get anything for those. Um, this is the last part. Uh, which way around does it go? I don't know, I'm just gonna push it on. There we go. And there you have it. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> you don't have anything. Uh, let's have a closer look away from the camera, there it is. So we've got like a flat edge either side here, I think. That should go in like that. Well, there, I could be lying. Here we are. Click button. And your circular motion. Oh dear. I'm going to do that later on, guys. That's clearly... I'm clearly doing something wrong there. Hang on, let's just give it one more try. 
There we go, look. That's how low you want to go. Okay, let's compare it to that one. Yep, that looks pretty good. There you go, that's the Adafruit Analog Thumb Joystick Breakout Board. Just a little bit of soldering just to show you guys. Uh, and hopefully I'll show you that in a project very soon. Until next time, uh, check out the blog, averagemanversusrajrapai.com. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.